Urban Hunter TV Delaware is brought to you by Black Bear Archery, St. George's, Delaware. The first state's first choice for sales, service, expert advice on all kinds of archery related supplies and bows. Also brought to you by Mark's Butcher Shop. You gut them, he cuts them. Mark's Butcher Shop is located off Grantham Lane in Newcastle, Delaware. Visit Mark's Butcher Shop for expert butchering. And DS Design. DS Designs for all kinds of brands. This is Mark from Mark's Butcher Shop in Newcastle, Delaware. We showed you the field dressing, we showed you the skinning, and now we're going to break it down so we can just prepare it for the processing room. This is where we clean all this stuff off of it that's not desirable. Like this guy drug it through the woods, obviously, so there's leaves on it, there's dirt on it. That's all got to come off. Where it's been shot, that's got to be cleaned up. I'm going to bone it out and uh, put it all in a lug and refrigerate it for a day or two, and then we'll process it. So I'm going to bring it down for you. I take the shoulders off first. I try to grab as much rib meat as I can if it looks like it's worth it. Sometimes it's dirty, sometimes it's shot. So I look at it, sometimes they're really fatty, and the fat is where you get the wild game. So I don't like putting that in the meat anyway. But I'll take it off as much as I can in one big piece. It runs in right tight against the bones. Let me grab my hook here. When we have your deer, you need use the hook to help hold the weight of the deer. When I'm pulling the deer, the weight of the deer away as it's hanging, using the weight of the deer to help with the leverage. And I run the knife straight down that spinal cord to one side. I work the meat off the neck bone, which is a jagged set of bones going down that neck. So you want to get all the meat that you can as you go down. All right, and that's one shoulder. And then wind plate is no good. Just fatty stuff here. And the wind pipe area is no good. Take that off. And look at that, it's really not too bad. There's some hair. Get that out of the way. And flip it over. Take a look at that. It's fat here, it's too heavy. So take that off. And anything that's dirty, has leaves on it, or uh, just dirt or hair or gut or uh, clotting blood. I'm trying to take that out of us also. This here would not be too good. And the meat, so we'll take that out. That's just air bubbles from when the deer was shot. There's the lung shot. And a lot of times the air just pumps into the muscles. And that meat is just no good. I see the end of that neck there with the hair on it. Take that off. I'm pretty particular. I want to give you all good meat, so. If you don't get a whole lot of meat, it's because I'm particular. But you need to get all your meat. All this good. Okay, that's done. Here's the first shirt I took off. It was not really damaged at all. And it looks really good. The meat's good. The second shirt is where the shot went in. Actually, what shot went out. And the damage it did, you can see. This, I took off the, the little as possible. I had to make, you know, I had to, can't have to throw it away. It's no good. This cloudy stuff, you don't want it in your hamburger or your roast. I don't want to give it to you, so I'm picky about that. I'm going to take it off. And that's, you know, I take my foot time into it. This is the time consuming stuff, but it's got to be done. And uh, you see how much you lose. So I'm going to say, where's your meat at? This was only one shot. If somebody shoots it two or three times, that's that much more damage, that much more meat loss. And uh, it's just amazing how much you lose with one bullet. So uh, there you go. There's a difference. Okay, after I get the shoulders off, I, I bring it down a little bit and I look at it, I want to clean it up a little more before I take any more meat off of it. Get rid of all this stuff here that's dirty, fatty, hairy, that's not, not savable. This, this meat here, this diaphragm meat, or sometimes it's good, sometimes it's, most times it's not because it's, it, it, it's in a bad spot where you, when you gut it, you get tainted, it gets, it's in a bad spot. If you're not real careful about it. So, most times I cut that off. If I can save it for you, I do. Here's your tenderloins. 
A lot of guys don't realize they're right here. They hit him with a knife trying to gut the deer and it looks like he hit it once there and once here a couple of times. So they're right there. That tendon lines are easy to hit with a knife when you're gutting them, so you gotta be careful. I'm gonna try to get them out as clean as I can. I'll get them behind it. Pull it out. I'm gonna take that outer layer off. It's not too bad. I'll do a little trimming on that. Get this other one out. Same thing, get behind it. Cut the, cut the end off. Pull it out of there. There's your two filet mignons. That looks pretty good. So it looks a lot better than it did when it was in there, doesn't it? It doesn't smell. It's not really going to be sour. Sometimes these are good. These are in a spot where these just get gassy. They smell good. There's nothing like eating a strong piece of meat from a deer because it's tainted. It's going to make you not want to use ever again. And you know that. The back side's off. So we get right underneath this head bone. You feel the head bone where it ends. That's where you run your knife across on both sides. And right down the back bone, just like you're doing a fish. You're playing a fish, like a little striper. Right there on the bone. So you get away from that. And then you start inside here. Run your knife down the bone. The bones are short back here in the rear end area, but as you go forward, the rib bones get bigger. And they're easier to, to find and run your knife along. So just keep nicking it down and pulling down as you go. Get the back to about one piece. This is a, just the best part. This is the one everybody wants. You don't want to mess this up. You don't want to shoot it here if you can help it. It's not really a kill shot. You want to get as much meat off as you can. There you go. There's your back strap. I'm going to take this off. Yeah, these deer are getting fatty this time of year because if you're getting ready for winter, this is a mountain deer, so they're, they're even a little bit further along than they are down in this area in Delaware, but as far as fat goes. The deer I'm getting in Delaware now, the bigger ones especially, have no fat on because they've been really busy. But uh, they'll, they'll start gaining it back pretty quick if their rut is over. That's how you tell if it's going to be a bad winter or not by the amount of fat you find on these things. They get ready for it. They load it up on fat. Which is not, you know, edible, so that's more waste that you throw away that people don't realize. And by the time you get it all off, when you get to the good stuff, you get about 30-35% out of the deer. Mr. Salty! Alright, that's done. I spend some time when I have to get some meat off of it, but it's really not worth it. I try to get as much as I can in the first flight. Because time is money, and it's really not worth putting any more time into that. If I get a pound out of it, I'd be lucky. So, take these hind, hind quarters out. I'm going to bone it out right here. So, run the tip of the knife down along the hip bone until you can find that socket joint. As you can see, exposed. If you look right in there, you see that ball joint. That's what you're looking for. When you see that, you know you're close. There's a little cartilage on the end of it. You want to nick that and get underneath it a little bit to kind of break it free. So that's out of the socket. So time to go to the other side. This side, I like to come in the back door. When you like that, the bone, same thing. Down to that socket, there it is. Can you see that? I found it pretty easy. Cut that boat, the, the cartilage around it, and get underneath it, break it free, and now it's broke free. And I just run the bone, the knife down the bone, get all the meat off. The hip bone, there's a hip meat right here. That's the hip. I got the inside round. That's where, get, that's where it gets the name inside round. It's the inside of the deer, it's the inside muscle. Go. Hip bones out. 
These are my two mic quarters. Now, I'm going to take these off now because you want to get the hair out of the way. The bulk, the hair, you don't want to be spinning around on the table. So I get rid of that. And then I a nice long nut. Back shots in there. To face off this mic quarter. Which was exposed when the deer hunter got his deer, this was all exposed. So, get that out of the way. And it's not really a lot of meat you lose. So it's very necessary. I would not want to throw all that into the meat. That would just destroy the whole batch of hamburger. Okay, that's good. If you look at the leg, you see some green on there from when you gutted it. Take all that off. Get the hair out of there. Okay, and flip it over, and nothing, nothing looking bad there. Some of this fat. Okay, that looks good. Raise the bone out. Nice thin layer. That's all you have to do. Just all good meat just below that. Okay, that looks good. Back leg has three main muscles, which we get our steaks out of. This is where the steak comes from, where your chip steak. These are the better muscles other than the back side. So we take them out and see them out when we're ready to process it. And the hunter tells them what they want to do with it. So that, again, that'll be the steaks or chip steak or roast, if you want more roast, or burger. Lots of options with those pieces. The shim down here, all the lower stuff, is all just for grind. These three muscles, one, two, three, are good for steaks. And this hip, this is a hip muscle here. It's a sirloin and beef. Not really big enough to steak out, so. That's used in the roast. Or in hamburger. Just run the knife right down that bone. All the way down. And then get the other side, same thing. This is where a good sharp knife comes in handy. There you go there. Just like that. And once in a while you get a deer that has a little bone right here. Like I feel it now. There's a bone in here, a little tiny bone. And only one out of every 35, 40, 50 deer it has a bone like that in there. And I'm not sure why. You don't see a lot of them. But when you feel it, you take it out because that's not going to be good in there either. A little bone. And that concludes Mark's butcher shop breaking down a deer. Thank you guys, and I'll, we'll do the next stage for you shortly. And I'll see you soon. Thanks. Urban Hunter TV Delaware is brought to you by Black Bear Archery, St. George's, Delaware. The first state's first choice for sales, service, expert advice on all kinds of archery related supplies and bows. Also brought to you by Mark's Butcher Shop. You got them, he cuts them. Mark's Butcher Shop is located off Grantham Lane in Newcastle, Delaware. Visit Mark's Butcher Shop for expert butchery. And DS Design. DS Designs for all kinds of graphics.